Hey guys, welcome back. I am Dez and today I'm taking you through a 35 minute mat Pilates workout using the loop band and mini weights. Weights I would suggest is about two to four pounds, five pounds maximum. However, you'll still get a great workout today with no equipment at all. Either way, it's gonna be fun and intense, but quick. So I hope you will join me and let's get started. Okay, you guys, so we're actually gonna start with our weights just off to the side and our band with us. We're gonna step to the far side of our mat and place the band on your feet so that it's like right underneath the arches of your feet. And then again, you're just at the back of your mat. We're gonna start with some roll downs. If you're not wanting to do a plank, a full plank, if you'd like to do a plank on your knees, you'll actually start kneeling instead and you can just walk out onto a plank on your knees. If not, we're gonna start standing. Keep that band wide enough that you feel a little tension there to start. Take a big inhale, exhale. You're gonna roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Walk your hands out to a full plank. Hold it here for a second. Press the floor away from you. Lift up through the core and then soften through your knees. Walk it back and then roll it back up. And again, roll it down, walk it out there. We're just warming up the entire body here. Hold for a sec, inhale and exhale, soften, walk back and roll it back up. Couple more like that. Rolling through, getting that spine moving, warming up the core, warming up the shoulders, hold and walk it back. Take your time on this roll up, using your core to create that mobility. Last one, rolling it down. And we're gonna walk it out there, hold it out there in your plank. All right, so if you're choosing a plank on your knees, you're just the same right here. From here, we're gonna send those hips back up to the sky, pressing your heels down. So again, we have a little tension on the band, feeling that extra yummy stretch through our hamstrings. And then we're gonna tuck through your glutes and roll back through, finding that plank again. Inhale, press it back, feeling that stretch through your shoulders and the backs of the legs, roll through, back to your plank. <laughs> Sorry, get my hair out of the way. Press it back, inhale, exhale, roll. Use your breath to create that movement through your core. So if you're on your knees, you're going just like this, send it back and then roll through your spine to that same position. Couple more, press it back, Exhale, roll it through. Big inhale through your nose, send it back, heels press down. Exhale, roll, using that core belly button to spine. Try not to let your shoulders roll up into your neck. Last one, press it down. And exhale, rolling back to the plank, choosing onto your hands or your knees. From here, we're gonna be pulling one knee in towards your chest, feeling that pressure on the band, and then place it back to your plank. Pull it in again and back. So if you're on your knees, you're doing the same thing here. March it, place it back down. Good. Big exhales. We're getting into it right away. Feeling that intensity in the shoulders. Make sure we're not sinking in your scapula. You want to think about pushing the floor away, engaging your chest and lifting up through your ribs and belly. Exhale and exhale. We're gonna hold the first side for eight pulses. Here we go, eight, seven, six, you got this. Breathe, four, three, two, one. Replace it and pulse the other side. Eight, seven, try to use the core, not the hip flexor. And four, three, two, one. Place it back down, eight more marches. Eight, exhale, seven, breathe. And six, five, woo, four, three, two, and one. Good, drop down to your knees and then send it back into a child's pose. Woo, you guys, that's intense right off the bat. We got that whole body nice and warm. I want you to roll it up from here. Let's just stretch it out quickly. Curve to one side. Keeping the opposite hip down, swoop it through and around. And the other way, up and over and around. Yes, 
Good, let's reach those hands back behind you. Clasp your fingers together and reach back, opening through your chest. Awesome, shake it out. Okay, we're going to a four point kneeling position, keeping the band around the arches of your feet still. From here, doing a little bit of glute work, core stability, shoulder stability work. All right, so let's start with the right foot. We're gonna tuck our toes. Right foot is gonna lift up towards the ceiling and then back down. Our goal here is to keep our hips square. And that band might come up a little bit closer to your ankle and that's fine. We'll adjust it when we need to on the other side. Woo, I'm shaking already. Breathe, square it off. So if your wrists are already feeling it here, then I just want you to drop down to your elbows. There's always gonna be an option. Or you could always place your weights underneath your hands as well. That'll take off some of that tension. Woo. You wanna press it high enough that you really, really feel that connection through the hamstring and glute. Last one, hold it up there for pulses. Eight, keep the core tight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, hold it, hold it there. You're gonna now bring your knee out towards the side, kind of towards your right elbow, and then it's gonna cross back behind you. So down towards the elbow, cross it back behind you. So you're thinking about crossing towards the opposite shoulder. So right elbow and then left. Good, so it's kind of going upper diagonal, cross, good. Feeling where the hamstring meets the glute, <laughs> lifting that booty. So at this point, you can be even down on one elbow if that feels better. Ooh, cross it in there. Five, squeeze it. Four, and three. Think about your ribs lifting away, belly. Two, and one, pulse it across. Eight, seven, six, get that squeeze higher. Four, three, two, one. Good, release sort of down. We're gonna reach it back behind you. If you can get that leg all the way straight, do it. If the band is too much, you can always take it off or just put both knees down. We're doing eight push-ups, tricep push-ups. Here we go. Eight, woo, it burns. Seven and six. You can also untuck that bottom toe if that feels better. Let the legs lift like this. And four and three. Woo. Two, and one, my booty is on fire. Pull it in, Ooh, holy cow. Feeling that booty. Alrighty, shake it out, roll out those wrists. We're gonna switch to the other side. Here we go, right away, lifting up. Exhale, lift, and down, and lift. Down, good, and lift. Keep it locked around that opposite ankle. Thinking about stamping towards the ceiling. Press that floor away. That's gonna take pressure off your shoulders. Drop down to your elbows if you need it. Breathe. Yes. Good job, you guys. Four. Stamp it up. Three, squeeze, 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 right where the hamstring is meeting the glute. One, pulse it up there. Eight, seven, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, try to hold it up there on one. Going out to the diagonal angle and then cross. Out to the diagonal angle and squeeze across. Good, meanwhile, you're trying to keep your shoulders and hips square. Unless you're gonna take that option down, you'll be at a slight angle. If you wanna drop down to that opposite elbow to get some weight off of your wrists, totally understand. This can be a lot on the wrists right after the bat. Three, squeeze and cross. Two, check the belly, lift away. One, cross one last time, pulse it up there. Cross it, eight, seven, six, Five, four, 
three, two, and a one. And we're gonna reach it straight out. Find that long line. Eight push-ups, here we go. Triceps back, eight, seven, six. You can also be just down like this. Five, and four, three, two, and one. Woo, triceps are burning. Pull it in. Woo, nice, you guys. Send it back. We are gonna get off those wrists. Really good. Shake it out, roll it out, and let's sweep those feet around in front of you. So you're gonna take that band off, sweep the feet around. We're gonna slide the band up now, up onto your knees right here, and we're gonna grab just one weight. One weight to your chest. Keep those elbows down. You can also use both weights if your weights are lighter, if you'd like. But I want you to focus this into your core. Make sure it's not coming up into your neck and shoulders. So we're just gonna kind of tuck, find that C curve to start, and back. And we want our knees to be about hip distance apart. So we're keeping that pressure a little bit out on the band. Tuck, 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 and lift. The weight is there just to kind of Create a little more tension on the core. And back. Last two. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Hold it back there. We're just doing little pulses. Back and back. Keeping those elbows down and tight. Tuck through your pelvis. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. We're gonna rotate towards your right side and you're gonna pull your right knee in, thinking tons of obliques, and then back to center, other side. Pull, back to center, and again. Exhale, rotate, inhale, center. Rotate, and center, good. See if we can go a little bit more speed here. Pulling that band high enough that you feel that tension. Really, really into those obliques as you twist. The weight and the band are just creating a little more intensity on the core here. Good. One more each side. Exhale. And one. We're gonna stay to the right side now, pulse it. Eight, pull that knee. Seven, six. I know we're gonna feel hip flexors, that's normal. Try to use that oblique to pull. Three two, one, switch to the other side, rotate, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, find your center, and then lift it all the way up, Ooh, giving yourself a little break, awesome, you're going to grab both weights, so they're in both hands, scoot up just a little bit, and then we're going to roll all the way down to our backs. All right, finding a nice comfortable position, we're gonna lift up into a tabletop position. So I want you to imprint your spine, low back stays down, lift those legs up, and then lift the arms up. So right away, we're gonna reach our right leg away from us and reach our left arm away. So opposite arm is leg, you're reaching away from one another, and then you're coming back to center. Exhale, reach that arm away and pull it back. Try to push your range of motion, but make sure the low back is staying pressed down into the floor. Good, so if those weights ever feel like too much or it's creating tension on your neck, just take out the weights and just reach your arms. Good. Yes, feeling again, lots of stabilizers to the core, feeling that deep transverse muscle, but also still feeling obliques. We're gonna really hit those obliques today. Yes, good. After this one, let's see if we can speed it up now. Just seamless switch and switch. Yes, and if it felt better to just keep it slow, go back to that original option. Ooh, yes. Check again with the low back. 
And if you're feeling tension in the low back, don't bring your legs quite so far. Down. Good. You got four. Switch. And three. Two. One. One. And bring everything in. Awesome. Let's set one weight off to the side. We're gonna keep the other weight. Awesome, take your hands just onto your knees, give yourself a teeny break here. Then we're gonna roll over on your side to, so that you're facing me. So you can choose either side, but we're gonna come onto, you can be either onto your elbow or you can be up onto your hand if you'd like. I'm gonna take it onto my elbow. The band is still gonna be here around my knees. You wanna roll your shoulders down away from you. We're gonna be reaching up towards the sky with that weight as we open our knees. So our hip is lifting off of the floor and then we're gonna reach back down, barely tap the hip and then reach it back up. So this is a full body exercise. Lots of stability through your shoulders. That upper arm is working. Lots of glutes. Feeling the side hips. Good, it's so good for us to work those hips. <clears throat> Helps keep our hips healthy, but also create a nice base to support our spine. Good, lift. If this is too much on your shoulder at any point, just keep your hip down and do it just like this. Good, but we're almost there. Three, Ooh. two, we're gonna hold it up there on one. Just flutter the legs open. Eight, seven, oh my gosh, it burns. Six, five, keep those hips pressing towards me. Three, two, hold the knees open on one. Your top arm is gonna dive under you and lift. So you can also have your hip down and do it just like this. You're still gonna get that oblique work, but it's gonna take some pressure off your shoulder. And reach, woo, burns. Lift, round it up away from the floor. Shoulders stay relaxed. Last two. And one, oh my gosh, the bottom booty burns. Do you feel that? We're gonna tuck it under, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach it up. Oh, my booty is on fire. Take it down. Ha! Ah, really felt that bottom <laughs> glued at the end there. Hopefully you did too. Stretch it to that side. Give your body a little bit of a break on that side. Oh man, feels good to stretch. Okay, we're gonna just sweep our feet around and do the same thing on the other side. Alrighty, so here we go. I take that same weight into your top hand. Drop down on your bottom elbow. This side's gonna hurt worse. Just your warning. Here we go. Everything lifts up. Hips lift, open it up, power to the sky, and down. This is where we just stay strong. Use your breath, power through it. You're stronger than you think. And this is where the change happens in those hips, glutes. Woo! Getting that nice lifted booty. But if you start cramping up, or you just feel like you can't keep going. That's where you're gonna take that option to drop down to your bottom hip. You got this, you guys, stay with me. I wanna give up too, I feel it. Woo. Drop it down and up. Last three, two, one. Hold it up there, flutter those legs open. Eight, you can scream at me, seven. Six, holy cow, five, four, three, two, hold it up on one. Dive that weight under as you keep the knees open. That's the worst part. And dive it under and open. Oh my goodness. Press that bottom shoulder away from your ear, you guys. And if you can't, that's where I want you to drop down. Take that option. Oh, last two. You got this. And one, dive it under and pulse it under there. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Woo, reach it up and collapse it down. Woo, holy moly. Okay, reach and stretch to that other side. Beautiful job, you guys. That one burns like crazy. Okay, we're gonna flip it around again and lay it on our backs. We are not gonna need our weights right now, so just set them off to the side. You're gonna take the band actually onto the arches of your feet again. Place it out in front of you. And let's just slowly tuck, tuck, tuck down to the lying down position again. We're gonna find your imprint. Lift your legs into tabletop. Flex through your feet. We're gonna take your hands behind your head and lift up into a supported crunch position. Right away, we're gonna pull in and reach one leg long, other knee bends, and then back to center. And again, pull it out, reach long, come back in. <laughs> I'm feeling those legs too. They're burning, they're dead. <sighs> Good, this is where we wanna focus tons of core. This is definitely a core exercise, not a leg exercise. So make your core be what's actually pulling that band. <sighs> Good, one more on this side. Now we're gonna add rotation. You're gonna rotate elbow to knee, opposite. Find your center and switch. <sighs> Find your center. And center, good. <sighs> In and lift. Center. Try to lift a little higher. And center. <sighs> and one, good, let's speed it up a little bit. And switch. I know you kind of have to keep your legs at like a hip distance from each other. So if you need to move a little slower to keep tension on the band, you can do so. But you're trying to go as fast as you can here. Reach, two, one. We're staying on the one side, pulsing it in. Lift with your core, eight, seven. That oblique is on fire, six, five, four, Three, two, one, switch, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, it burns, two, one, eight more switches, just switch, switch, six, five, four, three, two, one, find your center, and lay your head down, oh man. That one burns in the core. It burns nice and deep. Ah, okay, you're gonna take the band around your ankles. We're gonna be just doing a little bit of a roll. So press into the floor. You can take a look towards me real quick and just watch. You're gonna just be lifting up and then using your elbows and hands to push yourself up to a seated position. If that's not comfortable, I just want you here and lift, okay, if like, it hurts your tailbone or you don't feel like your abdominal strength is quite there. If not, you're going to that full lift up. Little reverse crunch, reach up to the ceiling and back up. Good. And reach. If you wanna add a little open close at the top, <laughs> just to spice it up, you can do so. Good. Yes. Nice, you guys. Really tuck through it. Four more. And three. On the last one, we're gonna roll up to a standing position. So two, this time roll all the way to stand up. Roll stand up. <laughs> and if that didn't work for you, no worries. Just roll on over and stand up in the best way for you. All right, let's do some standing work. Get a little bit more arms and legs. We'll finish with core and be done. So grab a hold of those weights. Keep the band around your ankles. From here, we're gonna be doing a curtsy squat and work those biceps. So have some tension out on the band. From here, we're gonna step your left leg, probably for you guys, I'm gonna mirror you. So your left leg is gonna be crossing back behind you and then you're gonna come here and then back. And actually, sorry, I lied. I, let's hook this underneath the arch of your foot, but keep the other one around your ankle. 
it's gonna keep it in a better position. So get that reset onto your left foot, and then here we go. We're gonna lunge it back, find that curtsy squat crossing behind you, make sure this knee's tracking right over your toes, arms are coming up to that high bicep curl, laterally rotated, and then you're gonna tap it out to the side. Bicep curl out, and tap, squeeze the glute at the top, down, and squeeze, good. Try to keep your hips equal so that you're not lifting to one side when you come up. I want you to stay square. Down and tap. Down and tap. Feeling those glutes again, but we like it, right? And lift, good. Coming up to like that square position with your arms, then you curl it in, down and up. And squeeze the booty at the top. Two, squeeze, spread your toes on your standing leg. One, good. We're gonna stay down there, pulse it. Good, get nice and low. Just four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Bring the weights in. Your back leg is gonna come in, shoot it out, all the way straight if you can. So it's gonna lift to a hover, shoot it out. If you wanna tap it in, tap it out, that works too. But if you feel like you got that balance, you're coming in and out. Feeling that heart rate, jump up a little bit. Good, so now I want you to reach your arms away from you if you want it. Add that on. Ooh, that standing outer thigh and glute. I feel it. Speed it up. Eight, seven, six, Five, keep that knee over your toes. Three, two, one, and bring it in. Ha, that burns. Yes, you guys, good. Swivel that foot back down to find it around your ankles. Now let's take the other side and wrap it underneath your heel. All right, from there, same thing. You're going into that curtsy lunge, cross behind you, lift those arms, and then come back out to the tap. Squeeze. Curtsy lens up and tap. Good. Squeeze at the top. Getting those glutes really fired up today, but we're getting the whole body. <laughs> I hope you feel that too. If you're feeling that tension creep up into your neck, take your arms a little bit lower. If not, we're going for that high lift. Make sure you're breathing, cross and squeeze. Double check your knee of your front leg is going right over your toes. Three, woo, two, one. Next time, hold it back there, pulse it. Seven, six, five, woo, four, three, get nice and low. Two, one, good, hold it down there. Pull your hands into your chest. Lean forward slightly, getting your weight onto that front foot. In, reach it out to straight in and tap. In, reach, in, good. So this is where our core is working major overtime to stabilize. When we take these balance challenges, gets that transverse to fire. Ankle stabilizers are working big time. Hips, knees. Good, we love to work those stabilizers. They're gonna help protect us from injury all around in all of our workout formats. Okay, start to reach those arms if you want it. Speed it up a little bit. Whoo. Okay, let's go for eight. Eight, reach, seven, Woo. five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, bring it in and up. Holy cow, shake it out. <laughs> I know those hips are dead. Okay, let's set those weights off to the side. We are gonna finish with one more plank series and then we're cooling it down. You guys are killing it. This is a lot in a short amount of time. Okay, back up to the back side of your mat again. We're gonna just do one roll down, walking out to your plank. 
roll it down. Oh, that felt good to find that hamstring stretch. Okay, we're holding it down here. Press away. You can also do this on your knees, so take that option, or even onto your elbows, or both. Here we go. We're gonna lift your right leg and down. Lift the left, down, finishing out those hamstrings and glutes. I know, that band really gets in that area. So if you're feeling pressure in your knee, that's when you're gonna go here. Lift, good. Lift and lift, breathe. Four more, four and three, two and one. Just find your plank, hold it, hold it, hold it. We're gonna press back again, press those heels down. Inhale here, roll it down again. Back to the plank, four more of those. Press it back, inhale and roll it down. Use that core and three, press two and one. Roll it down, hold it into this plank. Final push, lift, lift, lift your belly, lift your ribs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and drop it down. Send it back. Whew. You guys, we did it. Amazing job. Let's cool down our bodies. Keep this child's pose for a second. Stretch out those shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Feel those ribs expand and close on your exhale. Again, one more inhale. Relax the shoulders. Exhale. Good. Walk it in. You can just kind of slide that band out from under you. Set it off to the side. Awesome. Okay, let's take one leg forward in front of you. We're gonna just place your hand down to support. Yes. Breathe through that hip. Take both hands to your knee. If you want a little deeper stretch, just make sure you're lifted through your core. Kind of press away from your leg. And take your hands down to the ground. Tuck your back toe and flex through your front foot. Ooh, that feels so nice through that whole hamstring, even outside to that outer glute. We got deep into that today. Take your opposite hand to the outside of your ankle or outside of your foot, whatever feels better. And soften, switching legs. Pull the other leg forward into that deep stretch. Breathe, exhale down. Good, one more. And take your hands up to your knee. And slide those shoulders down. Make sure you're lifted through the core here. Inhale and exhale. Good, take your hand down to the ground and tuck through your back foot as you flex and straighten your front leg. Slight hinge forward, yummy hamstring stretch. And take your hand to the outside of your foot. Breathe into that. So good. All right, roll it up slowly. We're gonna actually slide around onto our booties. We're gonna get deep into those glutes here. So hands behind your hips. You're gonna lift up just a little bit away from the floor. Cross your right foot over your left knee and then sit it back down. From here, try to just sit up nice and tall. And if that's too much, you can always go here or you can lay down and do a regular figure four stretch here, depending on what feels good for you. But we wanna get nice and deep. Flex through your foot to get a little deeper into that stretch. Kind of rock side to side. Ooh. Okay, switching to the other side. Lift up, cross it over, sit down. Rocking side to side. Good, lift a little taller. 
One more deep breath. Good, you guys turn and face me, just crisscrossing those legs. And I want you to take your left arm across and pull it across your body. And looking side to side. Feeling that yummy stretch through your shoulders. And take that same arm up and over. Feeling that stretch here and a little stretch side. Then you're gonna extend those arms to that side and then bring them around. As you sweep it around, you're gonna take the opposite arm across your body. Relax the shoulders down and same thing, looking side to side. Good, take that same arm up and over into that tricep press. Good, little stretch to the side. Try to think opposite hip down into the ground and then reach those arms out long away from you and sweep it around all the way up. Whew. Good, you guys, shake it out. We are done. Thank you so much for joining me today for this killer workout. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that it gave you that deep burn, but quickly so you could go about your day. And if you liked it, please hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, shoot me a comment, and follow me on Instagram for more fun and workout content. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much.